Hi. Again, this is me. <laughs> well, I didn't tell you what these things were. This is their house. They can eat down here, but mostly they want to eat with the carrot because there's no food. Well, they might want to bring some over. <clears throat> and they could sleep in these tiny holes, in these brown leaves. And this is the graveyard. Oh, my little snail, yeah. yeah. And a playground. Also the kind of the kitchen. Bye. Hi. This is a fairy house. You can make them whenever you want to. They're really fun to make. And you can use anything in your garden that your mom or dad says is okay to use. I made a little sign there just because the fairies would feel welcome. And it says welcome. You could see just then that there is a little picture of a fairy on there. And here's a pine cone that my dad found. And it's a really cool pine cone because it looks like a bee's hive. At first I thought it was a bee's hive and I said, Daddy, Daddy, don't bring it into the house. I think there's probably some bees in there. That was wrong. <laughs> well, Always fairies need a little bit of food. I thought a carrot would be good. And a little playground running up there, jump, eat some, and then you can go down and do it again. But I have a graveyard right here. This stone is a grave. My snail died. And I put him here and then I noticed today I should make a house, a fairy house. But my dad had a good idea to put it around here somewhere. And I was actually had that idea, but I didn't want to say it. <laughs> and I made it there, and it looks so good together. These are little, what are they called? Amaryllis. They were so beautiful, but they, they, they're old, but I picked them off the plant and I used them. Good luck on your fairy houses. I'm going to show you some worms. When you dig in your worm box, you'll find a lot of them. Huh. Yeah. Do you see them? They dig deep. There's some worms. Worms are slimy and slippery. You can see that a lot. Uh, they're kind of gross. <laughs> and, but they're good. It's good if you have a worm box. Here's a worm. Don't let it stay out of the land. I mean the dirt for a long time because then they can't breathe. They can't breathe on surface. They can breathe under dirt though. Okay, okay, okay. Ah! Dad! <laughs> okay. okay, that's just disgusting. Um, <laughs> sorry about that. Oh. <laughs> Oh, this is about an old snail we had, and it died. This is its grave. It's under that big stone. And if any other of my snails die, I'll put it right in that place. I don't know how she died. I got her from my class, and I thought she was going to be alive for a long time. My fish is kind of mean, and it 
killed the other fish we had. We only had to have one fish in that same tank. We only have one tank. And the fish might have killed our snail. Cut. And worms like to dig in the dirt a lot. That's our worm box, and we have tons of worms and roly polies. I don't know how the roly polies got in there. It's kind of freaky. Um, but we have tons of worms, and hi. Well. Today I'm trying to tell you about worms. Worms help the earth by when they poop. They poop in the dirt and make more soil. These are some baby worms. And we have a worm box. 